Hi everyone. You probably haven't been anywhere. Have I have. Right, working on back and working on bedroom frame. Uh, that's had all its final paint behind me. Just working on these openers. storage under the bed. Right, enough of that noise. Uh, oh sorry there. <laughs> okay, so um just just cracking on really. I've got to make cut another support for the centre there which is fine. Uh, so I think I need to take a bit more off that one by the look of it. One is it that one? Yeah, oh, fettling, fettling, and adjusting. So, yeah, these are the two openers, a little bit of adjustment's got to be made. So, so I bought some gate hinges. Let's sweep this board or stuff. One thing about working in a boat. Like here, cutting sawdust and all that sort of stuff. If I walk, when I walk in that, oh, come here, brush. I take it all up the boat with me. So just trying to keep that a little contained. All oh, right, where am I? I'm in ease again. Right, okay. So I'll show you this one here. Uh, this one I've already sort of mopped up. Not finished by any stretch. So you can see, woohoo, there's all our storage. That'll be our storage under the bed. And because there's single mattresses here, um, these these will be really easy to lift up because you're only lifting sort of half a mattress up. So, so yeah, just only gate hinges. Just gonna put those on there and get that one done. Get some better screws or countersink those. Uh, and th then that's that'll sort of be done. Screw all those slats in when I'm ready. Uh, you can see the screws are still poking out just because I'm not ready to bolt down because when all this is done all the slats will come off so we can sand and paint all the bed frame another task but that, that you know that's what I'm doing now uh, get that on then I'm gonna look at these pulley out bits for down here maybe easy maybe not we'll see but uh, whether I put a gas strut on here I might but I might not. I might just put like a bit of a, oh, can I put that out? Uh, let me put that there. Yeah, I might just make a, a bit of a rod for my own back. Um, a, a rod just to hold that up. So yeah, um, Fran's not here today. Uh, she's at grandkiddies. We was all at a theme park yesterday, so we were all knackered <laughs> running about with four grandkids. But uh, yeah, I've got to get a bit done today just to press on, pushing the job forward. So yeah, I'll get this hinges on here and then we'll look at that uh, pulley outy bit. Hopefully you can't hear Linkin Park in the background. Um, right, this is the, the double support for the centre. Centre of the uh, slats. Get that 
Tight space is getting tight in here now. Just because of all the, I'm gonna trim that a little bit. Just trying to get to that point where I'm not cutting any more wood in here. Just because of the, the mess it's creating really. Something's catching somewhere. Just that one there, I think. There's a little bit of a, a trim off. Okay, so that's that's there. Oof. So I'll just um, when I've done when I've done uh, all the donkey work I'll then go through a like a fine a final fit make sure everything's sanded and clean bloody sawdust again so I'm multitasking today painting the shelves for the rear cupboards there in the living room or the saloon I should say uh, then it's just been with some more material swatches for our dinette covers so I'll just give her the the go on one of those right slidey bed bottoms really what Having to tidy up? Always. <laughs> Always. Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, trashed. <laughs> um, so we just, um, yeah, we just tidied up, obviously. Uh, we had a bit of a change of heart, thoughts. I'm racking my brains with this for the day. I just didn't like how it was turning out, this um, removable walkway. So basically what we're going to do is two, two runners, one on the bed. We're going to stain that one. Um, and we're just going to have two lots of slats that just drop in, in, out. Happy days, eh? Yeah. Yeah, well, like I said, we, it shouldn't be moved that much. That no. ain't our main door. No, so it won't, won't be moved that much. It'll only be, excuse me, if anybody comes. So just to finish these off, look. Um, He's doing a nice job. I'm just uh, finishing these ends just so they, uh, there's one that's uh, roughed. Um, and I've done... Just so I just made a little template just to finish these ends off so they look a bit nicer. Yeah, nice. Um, and 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 just just kind of, they are sharp edges, are they? Well, that's it. You just set the edges off so yeah. they, they look a bit more like they're supposed to be there. Yeah, she did there. Okay.
getting that uh, getting that spatters going. <laughs> Take that off. We're going to set that off in so we can yeah. stain it. Yeah. Go to that one as well. So. Yeah. Really good, Luke. So the good news is we're getting our gas installed. Um, yeah, Liam doesn't want to be on camera. So, uh, Gas Safe Marine. There's the guys based in Bridgewater, in Somerset. Uh, nothing special on our gas. We don't want to be. Nice and simple. Um, uh, bottle mounted regulator and also uh, a bubble tester. So that's all we've gone for. None of these um, automatic swap over things. Don't need one of those. Uh, put another gas bottle in there, just swap over when they're empty, it's fine. Don't need any of that, anything fancy. More money, more expense, for what? Uh, so I'll show you in a second, because Liam's just coming back. Uh, we're gonna get two bayonet fittings under the hob. Hopefully we'll get the hob connected today. Oh, we'll be on first, and there uh, we'll be able to cook some bacon or something. Who knows? I'll show you that in a second. What we've done and why. Well, so here's our gas uh, supply um, isolation valve. Uh, it, it's just going to get some clips because uh, these all need to be clipped. Um, two bayonet cap fittings. So um, Liam's just uh, added that one to the the hob itself. And I've, I've just plugged it in. That's always good. It's a good sign. Um, so what, what this basically is is um, he'll supply me with another another hose, hopefully, um, and then that can go on the hob. No, the the oven, and then then just plug it plug plug that straight in. The reason I wanted this one on a hose as well is well uh, because we've got to change the worktops i didn't want to call the guys back and obviously it's more expensive if i ever need to take it out um then it's much easier when you've got a bayonet cap fitting so happy days on that one so hopefully i can have another hose uh or i might have to get them back just to connect that hose because technically that connecting that hose to the oven is is a gas job so i'll ask him about that but yes yeah, get in there get in there we have a bacon sandwich, I think, hopefully. Well, what a result. So yeah, um, it's a bit grubby, the top of there, because it's not really been used, but uh, here you go. Uh, got to put some tiles along the back of there and just peer down here a little bit. You can see um, it's all screwed up like it's supposed to be. Uh, each fitting needs to be have a, have a clip on it at least 15 mil away. You see the hose going round to the bottom, then that bayonet there will be for the top. Happy days. The top, mm. the oven. But yeah, that's another step forward. I'll throw those jets away because I'm not going to need those. Another step forward, we can uh, we can have a bacon sandwich. Next shot may well be. Us cooking a bacon sandwich on the boat, how about that? Here's hoping, eh? Right, I need to get cracking on some other stuff. Just got some timber today. More timber. More timber. More timber. Uh, uh, just for these slats. I am marking them individually because the boat curves around towards the swim. So they, they are just, just a little bit different. Sand all these edges down, get them all spaced out properly, um, and then connect them up in two sections. That's what we agreed to, wasn't it? Yeah. We just like spray my wall with dust. Yeah. Again, trying to get that last bit of dirtiness. <laughs> Dirtiness. Dirtiness, yeah. <laughs> Cutting and stuff done. 
so um, we can just uh, get ready to paint the bed frame. Take all, all these slats have got to come up, they're only temporary on anyway. Today, you're going to have some bacon cooked in the boat. What? Me? Yes, you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we got gas. Look at that. It's so on and offable. It surely is. I can't believe it. I've got a cooker. This is... Well, I've got, you know, you got a hob. I've got a hob. <laughs> oh. I've got anything in here. Well, I've left it in the back. Hang on. Oh, I can't hear it sizzling. Is it working? Of course it's working. A warm up. You sure it's working? I can't hear it. It's bloody working. The littlest of things make me so happy. <laughs> oh, no, we're. <laughs> Look, we've got a flame. We yeah. have. Back on. Sometimes it's the simplest thing that gives us the joys of life. Does it work all right? It seems to be cooking. <laughs> Smells Boston. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Sorry for all the vegan and vegetarians out there. <laughs> oh, we've got beans as well. Beans. Look at that, you've got two hobs going. Right. From nothing to two hobs. Wow. Good tea tonight, because I've got to look at the <laughs> Yeah, you are. What have you got there? Gin. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. That's just got bad news written all over it, that has. Ooh. <laughs> Some people have commented that that's the end of the work that's going to happen on this boat. <laughs> it's the end of my working week anyway. It's the end of mine. So, cheers. And I can't find my gin glasses. Uh, bad somewhere. Does that taste like you've just had it from a pub? Definitely. That's what then. And no, it don't actually. Because mine's a double. <laughs> well, you'd better double in the pub. Well, I'll do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Right, get back to work. Yeah. I've been painting. I know you have. Do you want to run? Uh, it's a bit early for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's after seven. I know it is, but I'm more for a bit. Right, what are we doing? Unpacking. We're hanging. So, uh, it's moving It's moving, <laughs> moving in, in day. day. Mm, sort of. Um, yeah, last couple of nights, uh, sorry that, um, oh, we'll skip it. So the, the lights in the portal really muck up the camera. Um, I, was, I was gonna say that. Uh, so in my state of attire, I'm working, so I've got my old grumpy T-shirt on. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're sort of moving in. We spent a couple of nights on board uh, this week, basically using the cushions from the dinette on the bed to make a bed. So they're bloody uncomfortable. Um, but we, we don't want to make our visitors too welcome, do we? Oh. I, 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 I might mean that a little bit, but not much. <laughs> so Nick, if you're watching, I don't mean you, just all right, chill out. Um, um, yeah, so uh, what, what's happened this week? Yes. Um, so yeah, we were unpacking all our cases to, to clear out the bathroom area. And we finished cutting here in the bedroom, haven't we? Yeah. So we're unpacking cases and boxes. Uh, let's just quickly show you around. That, those shelves were always for helmets. Uh, so we've got our racy type helmets and our cruiser triumphy kind of helmets in there. Um, so that, yeah, they're, 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 that will be their home going forward anyway. There's the, um, there's the uh, light from the portals again. Um, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be our, their home for those going forward. We've just chucked that stuff in, the, in that at the moment because it's bedding it's bedding for the 
strangely, the bed. So our, <laughs> under, our under bed storage, well, we've been painting this uh, bed frame, so that's pretty much done now. Just need a bit of a touch up on the outside. So we're starting to load the interior and clear our spaces. Whee! So we're gonna put our two big suitcases. Sorry about the light there. Let's just move a little bit. I don't know why that is. It really upsets the lens. Um, those two, we have two suitcases that we're probably not going to use for travels anymore because they're really big cases. So one's broken, really. Yeah, one zipper's on its way out anyway. So we're going to open those up and use those underneath the bed for Stupid. thing storage. We've got like all our leather jackets and all that sort of stuff that needs to go into there and obviously some more clothes. Oh. Um, so yeah, we're starting to use this wardrobe now. Yes, we haven't got any doors on it. Um, we haven't got any ply lining on the sides. No. Um, not, yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet, but we can we can use it because the ply and things like that I can cut outside and bring them into fit. So I mean, I've still got to run water pipes up there for the shower, but I've cut and and a, a light switch I've got to move there. But I can do all that with some of the clothes in place. So let's use the space. This is now a clean room. Yeah. Unless I'm in it. Um, clean room. Clean room. Um, <laughs> And any now, any cutting or drilling and all that sort of stuff now will be done, will in, the be, will be done in the bathroom where that can be a, a more of a tooly kind of area till we start on that. Getting these slats on and this. Uh, Fans, give this another coat of paint, haven't you? I have. It's all painted now, ready for uh, deploy when we can afford it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which ain't yet. Which ain't yet. yet. Okay, that's uh, buttoned up back together. No rubbiness. No. Nothing there either. I think. Yay! Well, that's that bit done. Oh, actually, it, they're not in my suitcase, they're in my pirate hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> that was unplanned, actually. <laughs> that was unplanned. Quite yeah. funny, nonetheless. It could be a grumpy t shirt. I oh, know. <laughs> so it doesn't match, but hey ho. That bloody poor toll again. <laughs> doesn't match, but hey ho. But I need to show you our, our temporary poor toll curtains. I think you'll be impressed. So no expense spent. <laughs> no are... expense spared. Spent. Ex no expense Squared. spared means you've spent any penny you had to get the job done right. Well, that's it. Yeah. We, are, we, may, we have spent every penny. No ex yeah, yeah, but no expense has been spent on the curtains. Yeah. So, <laughs> again, only temporary. But it, blo uh, it blocks the, it uh, blocks the light, light out for now. Um, and our, our, our very... A very um what did that go in? There it is. Um a very chic, I think you'll agree, bin bag curtains. Yeah, bin bags. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got one for over here as well, but if you put that one in, it'll be dark as you like in here. in a little bit. We are. You okay up there? I'm lovely. <laughs> I'm sunbathing. Enjoying the sunshine. So now we're, um, after all that, we're full-time in the boards. Instead of part-time. Yes. <laughs> still plenty to do. Still still plenty to crack on with to get us to that point. I think uh, 
Running Water will be one of our next projects. next ones. Yeah. Uh, it might not be immediate, but uh, Running Water is definitely on that list somewhere. Right, so we'll um, we'll carry on mm. doing what we're doing. <laughs> and, and, and no, we're doing no more tonight. Oh, we are. No, no we're not. We're not doing any more tonight. No. Tomorrow. Yeah, we do a bit more tomorrow. And uh, empty the car and sort the van in. Yeah, <laughs> there's still some storage stuff in the, in the van and in your car, isn't there? Yeah. So getting clothes on board and all that sort of stuff. So that'll all be that'll all be tomorrow. All looking good though, happy. And uh, when the weather's like this, you got to enjoy it. Well, you, you, can't, can. you can't be bad, can it? It's so quiet. It is You're quiet. Not. A lot of boats have gone out. A lot of boats have gone out uh, from the marina. There's a few gaps, isn't there? Mm. But we're staying put because I've got work tomorrow and we've got stuff to do with me. Yeah, so. we can't afford to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, be honest. <laughs> at, yeah, five pound a pint. No, we can't afford to go out. <laughs> Certainly not. So anyway, enough of that. Um, thanks for all your subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed... Keep pressing that button. Press that button. Uh, that'd be really nice. Uh, and keep those comments coming. We're loving that. Yeah. Oh, false ghost. Um, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. See ya. Bye. Bye. bye.